Hey, this is Professor Perez from Saddleback College. Today, we're going to do addition and subtraction with numbers of different bases. This is actually a three-part video. In part one, we're going to do addition with basically no carryover. In part two, we're going to do addition with lots of carryover. And in part three, we're going to do subtraction with lots of borrowing. And of course, before we get started, we got to get out the student of the semester. And that's Charlie. He says he could hardly wait. He better be ready to go. Charlie, what are you doing over there? There's a bunch of people looking at you. Oh, never mind. All right, let's get started right here. All right, Charlie. Remember our abacus. We're going to do some addition. This is kind of a review. We're going to begin with base 10 addition. Remember, that was our ones column. That was our tens column. There's our hundreds column. There's our one thousands column, our ten thousands column, and our hundred thousand column, right? Now, in terms of base 10, we can think of the ones as the 10 to the zero. And then our 10 to the first, our 10 squared, our 10 to the third, our 10 to the fourth, and our 10 to the fifth, right? And now let's enter our number in our abacus. Here we go. We'll put a four in our ones place, a three in our tens place, a two in our hundreds place, a five in our one thousands place, a six in our ten thousands place. And to this number, we're going to add 31,753, Charlie. Okay, remember, no carrying over here. It's just basic addition for warm up. Here we go. Four and three is seven. Three and five, eight. Two and seven, nine. Five and one, six. Six and three, nine. Very nice there, Charlie. Now, look at our numbers here. Notice we have nine of these ten thousands, right? We have six of these one thousands, nine of these one hundreds, eight of these tens, and of course, seven of these ones. Remember, your first column in any base is always the ones column because anything to the zero power is one, except for zero to the zero, right? Okay, so notice our base ten number here. We have a 9, we have a 6, we have a 9, an 8, and a 7. And if you multiply and add all these numbers up, you get 96,987 base 10. It's kind of like the expanded form, Charlie, that we talked about in pre-algebra of a number, okay? Now, notice, base 10 numbers means you have 10 digits. Now, let's move on to a base 8 number, and in base 8, you only have eight digits, zero through seven. Okay, here we go, Charlie. Now, our first column is our ones because that's eight to the zero. And then we have eight to the first, eight squared, eight cubed, eight to the fourth, and eight to the fifth. Now remember, eight to the zero is one, eight to the first is eight, eight squared is 64, eight cubed is 512, eight to the fourth is 4096, and eight to the fifth is 32,000. 768. Oh, what fun. Now let's enter our base 8 number. We'll put our 4 in our 8 to the 0 column. We'll put a 3 in our 8 to the first power, a 2 in our 8 to the squared column, and we'll put a 5 in our 8 to the third power column, and our 6 in our 8 to the fourth power column, which is this 4096. Now to this base 8 number, we're going to add 1, 2, 4, 3, 3, base 8. Okay, here we go, Charlie. Just basic addition. 4 and 3 is 7. 3 and 3, 6. 2 and 4, 6. 5 and 2, 7. 6 and 1. That would be 7. Very nice there, Charlie. Now, let's look at our number in terms of a base 10 number. Down here, we have 7 of these 8 to the 4th powers, right? Then we have 7 of these 8 to the 3rd power. We have six of these eight squareds, six of these eight to the first powers, and seven of the eight to the zero power, which is our ones column. And if we look at our digits, see there's the seven, seven, six, six, seven. And if we multiply and add everything up, we'll get our base 10 number. And that should give you 32,695. You can work that out on your own time. All right, Charlie, now let's move on. Now, here we go to a base four number. Now, base four isn't used too often, but we're gonna use it to make sure we understand how to do addition 
and subtraction in base 4. Watch, here we go, Charlie. Base 4 means we only have four digits, 0 to 3. There's our 4 to the 0, 4 to the 1, 4 squared, 4 to the 3rd, 4 to the 4th, and 4 to the 5th, right? 4 to the 0 is 1, 4 to the first power is 4, 4 squared is 16, 4 cubed, 64, 4 to the 4th is 256, and 4 to the 5th power is 1024. All right, Charlie, now let's enter our base 4 number. We'll put our 1s in our 1s place, 4 to the 0 power, right? And now we'll put in a 2 in our 4 to the first power place value. We'll put a 0 in our 4 squared, a 0 in our 4 cubed, and a 1 in our 4 to the 4th power. Okay, to this base 4 number, we're going to add 3202, base 4, of course. And again, it's just basic addition. 2 and 1 is 3. 2 and 0, 2. 0 and 2, 2. 0 and 3, 3. And we have a 1, which is there. And notice we have one of these 256s, three of these 64s, two of these 16s, two of these 4s, and of course we finish with three of these 4 to the zeros, which is three ones. Again, there's our digits, 1, 3, 2, 2, 3. Multiply and add all those up, you do get 491 base 10. All right, Charlie, let's do one more. Now we're gonna do the base two numbers. That is just too good. Anyway, a base two number means you only have two digits, a zero and a one, just like here. And remember, we have two to the zero for that first place value, two to the first, two squared, two cubed, two to the fourth, and two to the fifth. 2 to the 0 is 1, 2 to the 1st power is 2, 2 squared is 4, 2 cubed is 8, 2 to the 4th power is 16, and 2 to the 5th power is 32. There you go. Now let's enter our base 2 number, or our, or our binary number. Here we go. We'll put a 1 in our 1's place value, a 1 in our 2 to the 1st power place value. We'll put a 0 in our 2 squared place value, which is 4. We'll put a 0 in our 2 cubed, and we'll finish off with a 1 in our 2 to the 4th place value column, which is really a 16. Okay, now, to this number, we're going to add 11000 base 2. And now, here we go. Notice, the first column, a 1 and a 0, is what, Charlie? 1. 1, that's right. 1 plus 0 is 1. 1 for our next one. 0 plus 0 is what, Charlie? 0. 0. Now, a 0 plus a 1 is what, Charlie? 1. It's a 1. Now, here we are, Charlie, in our 2 to the 4th column, right? Notice we have a 1 recorded, and we have to add a 1 to it. Now, remember, 2 to the 4th column, or place value, means we're in the 16 place value, right? And we've got one 16 recorded, and we have to add another 16. Now, how much is 16 plus 16, Charlie? 32. That's right. And so we're going to carry that 32 to the 2 to the 5th column, and that is the carryover watch. So 1, we add the 1, we're going to carry it over, and there it is. There's our 1, 2 to the 5th, which is the 132, which is carried over. Record our 0 and bring down our 1, and that's our number there. Okay. Now remember, in the next video, we're going to do lots of carryover. So this is our warm-up video. Now here we go, Charlie. Notice we have one of these 32s. We have zero of these 16s, we have one of these 8s, we have zero of these 4s, we have one of these 2s, and one of the 1s, right? And so there's our digits, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, and if we multiply and add those up, we will get 43 base 10. So there we go, that completes our warm-up. Now. We're moving on to the next video, which involves lots of carryover, so we'll see you all again soon.